Ottomans are planning to declare war on me. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the procedure, everyone? everyone? What if EU4 actually started in 1356, so 90 years before the official start date? Well, take a look at this map. The Europe is far more shattered and there are a lot of anti-blobbing mechanics that should make the gameplay around this continent far more fun. And to embrace it, I'm gonna try playing as the Serbian Empire, you can see its huge borders, where I'm gonna try to survive as it, because it's at the decline, and unite the whole Balkans while stopping Ottomans from expanding. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to get notified about the future videos and join the community to get the special emotes and ranks and of course support the channel. Okay, Mr. Serbia, I don't really need two forts next to each other over here, so let me delete the fort in Belgrade. Now, let's take a look at the government. It's Serbian Tsardom, so you're getting the core creation cost as well as additional GAF capacity. So the GAF capacity is not a problem at all, especially that Serbia starts as an empire. So this is very helpful for us, on top of the fact that we are huge and we are having a vassal on which we are having cores, meaning that in 10 years we will now be able to annex them, I'm gonna annex them in one month. Remember that this mod is not that just change start date and that's it, no, actually the developers of this mod are doing a lot of important changes. Especially the fact that we are 8 years before the start date of U4 with anti-blobbing mechanics, minus 90% percent admin efficiency, right now I have minus 65. And together with the new technologies, you can see up to Tech 9, we will be getting that down to zero. And it's the same with the development efficiency. So, for example, if you wanted to develop my gold mine, right now it costs 158 power points. So, even three provinces mine, or like Byzantium, the total province wars caucus is 126 provinces. So, we need two wars to annex them. I think that's a good change. Another thing that is changed completely are the policies. You can see that it's very similar to one of the MP mods that I was playing, where the policies are not dependent on the ideas. So, you can see that I can for example take the admin efficiency 10% that's gonna be super useful I'm gonna take the cost to fabricate claims minus 50% as well as the actual calf cost and this is because calf is having zero fire and 0.8 shock while infantry has 0.1 fire and 0.2 shock meaning that calf has over twice the amount of this so it's far stronger and also in peeps infantry has one peep calf is having two pips so it's extremely stronger and we already have 3000 of calf in our nation. Biggest disadvantage of this nation is 211 ruler. He's 20 years old so I'm gonna keep him for a long time. This is fine. Let me just introduce the new heir which is 645. So after 20 years of him ruling I'll be able to just go and abdicate. Get some rivals that's gonna be Bulgaria for sure, Byzantium for sure and Ottomans for sure because these are the main ways of my expansion early game and let's go and stop the estates. Yearly party authority as well as mana, mill mana from the nobility, as well as super as of the crown, while from the burgers I'm gonna go and take the one person drones and prestige. Finally from the Cossacks I'm going to take the yearly army tradition modifier. Why don't we use all that new money to build a new galleys? Because we'll need a more fleet to actually beat the Ottomans in the future. I'm gonna start building Spain work on Bulgaria, Byzantium, Bosnia and the Ottomans. Oh shit, to make it harder there's a collapse of the Serbian Empire disaster that is doing... I have no idea what... But it's gonna happen very quickly because my ruler is too bad to actually survive. So why don't I get a royal marriage to actually get a queen? Maybe he will die one day. Anyway, let me just go and uh, boost the stability to one. Then I'm gonna get the cheaper advisor from each of the estates. And now I can take the advisors. The so tax meta, spy network and manpower. Thanks to the fact that I'm an empire during the peacetime my autonomy is actually decreasing. During the war time, it's gonna be slightly increasing. Oops, uh, I'm missing localization is probably the start of the yeah, the collapse of the Serbian Empire disaster. Oh, Mr. Mother, you have to fix that. So that's good and bad. First of all, I lose free stability, so I just wasted a lot of admin on stabbing up. And I should not have taken the cheaper advisors but this is fine i did not check the mod before playing so misplaced part of the gameplay you can see me misplaying something lose free stability and we're getting the war against these boys which is actually good news i believe because i'm gonna fully annex them instead of actually fighting 
Yes, we have enough war score to do that too, but that's actually some ex expansion. Uh, what if I just make you my vassal again? I'm gonna still pay AE and diplop points. This is fine. At least I'll get a lot of new lands for myself. Of course, I made my ruler a general, so maybe he's gonna die in a battle. <laughs> of course. Of course. You know what, we might want to just focus on admin in this case. So, and the disaster, I cannot have the ruler flag incompetent monarch. Uh, so I assume I just have to kill my ruler, which might take really ages. The good thing is that this disaster is not giving me any negative modifiers. I just lost my stability, so it's not that bad. Let me just in the meantime concentrate the development here, and here we need free development. Aye, aye, aye. Let's just go and for the next one, let's look at our AE. Okay, it's not that bad because it's pretty much only orth orthodox nation, so just have to take a little bit of a break now. But obviously I can just go and state this beauty. Do you want to concentrate? Let me concentrate and state this. This is already stated. This needs to be stated now this is already stated that's actually great that i have absolutely no autonomy in these newly conquered provinces ah let's not waste any time bosnia is actually catholic so it should be really quick and easy to go and vassalize them as we are saving admin points to boost our stability uh hungary what the hell are you doing they just threatened to warn bosnia and took rama and <laughs> Like without even fighting. Accept the Glit culture is 30% of my development now, so I can concentrate Metropolitan here and probably nowhere else, but that was ready enough. To go and pick my first icon, that's gonna be definitely improve relations and aggressive expansion impact. Yeah, and I'm gonna boost this a bit to zero, so this way it's no longer a problem, we just have to get rid of that ruler. He's gonna be my most important general in every single battle. Oh boys, it's happening a little bit too early. <laughs> Ottomans just declared war in Byzantium, so I guess I will have to deal with the Ottomans directly. The worst part is that the Ottomans actually like Hungary. Why would you do that? You know what? I'll just not give them an access because I plan to vassalize Byzantium and re remember I can't release them from my nation because of amount of the cores that they have. I want to just directly vassalize them to get all of the scores on the Ottomans and honestly I would prefer a scenario where Ottomans take Constantinople and Adrianople and just leave Macedonia for myself. So thanks to the aggressive expansion impact bonus from my religion, it's only 40 AE to fully an event. So why don't I just also go here? I completely forgot about aggressive expansion, but my to 15%. So now once they want to fully exit these guys, it's just 30. I absolutely love that, but what I'm gonna do, it's not gonna occur it because you don't have admin mana, just gonna go and release them on the same promises that I just took. That helped with two things. First of all, I have great relations with them. If, just, if I forced vassalize them, that wouldn't be so good with the relations. And second of all, they are right now Orthodox instead of Catholic. To improve relations a little bit quicker in my region, I'm just gonna go get the improved relation bonus from both of my merchants. And honestly, why don't I try collecting in Constantinople instead of transferring to Ragusa? And instead of 0.56 of income, I'm gonna have 0.7, maybe 0.8. 1.2, yes, that's a true stonks right now have 10 income. Oh, I should be able to also ally Naples if I improve relations and decrease that expansion impact. I want to ally them because they're gonna be the first ones to join any of my coalitions in the future. Ottomans did exactly what I expected. They took Constantinople, they took Adrianople, and they left Macedonia alone. Why in the meantime, I'm gonna go and ally Naples. And Ottomans just became the great power. Ah, number seven, they're still weak. They have same development as us. They just embrace the institution. Why don't I go and take down Byzantium, which is absolutely alone and without any army. Let's just go for the conquest of Macedonia and to make them our vassal. Yeah, vassals in Byzantium is absolutely no gas expansion. Let me just do that. Of course, in this case, they're gonna hate me, but I couldn't do the same trick as with Bosnia because they have too many cores on my provinces. First bonus I'm gonna take in Age of Fertilis is gonna be Calf Supremacy. Calf cost, Calf flanking ability, and Calf to Inflation. So right now when I turn all my armies, I'm paying 0.22 ducats for my infantry, and 0.36 for my calf, meaning when I'll be building more troops to get to the force unit, it's gonna be mainly calf, still because of these bonuses. Okay, I'm building up my calf to 8,000, and infantry, I'm gonna keep it as it is. Now let's get it to 12,000. Yeah, I wanted to attack the Ottomans, but then I've seen that they have 3.2 morale, one more than me, and 112 
discipline. No, no, no. I'm just gonna go and attack Bulgaria to just take a small scrap of them. I'll be able to only take these two provinces, but at the same time, you can see that Akia is no longer a vassal of Naples. So I need to quickly use that to go and siege them down because Vince is about to take these provinces. So we need to be quick. Let's not slow down. I'm gonna attack Aydin to actually make Ottomans a little bit weaker by stopping them from getting this. That's gonna be a reconquest. Let me just get on the ships and try getting on the Shugla. That won't be an easy thing to do. So why don't I get access from Genoa? So this way I'll be able to land all of my troops in Lesbos and from Lesbos it will be easier to just get to Shugla because if I landed directly on Shugla at 4000 I would lose against 3000 of troops. Oh look, Ottomans actually did take only Silistre and left everything less open. That's good, I'll take this princess from myself. Oh shit, Ottomans are planning to declare on me. Oh my god, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? Calm. Uh... Guys, abort the mission. Let's focus on getting these provinces and getting ready to actually get absolutely demolished by the Ottomans. But at least I'm gonna have all of my allies called. That should be of a little bit help. help and I believe Hungary should not be helping them. So the Ottomans actually did attack me. So what I did? The pro gamer move. I took the one person loans and brain this institution took tech free because they also have the tech free. And I started recruiting the free company, which is 10,000 troops, slightly over the force limit, but that's what I have to do to win with the Ottomans. I'm also gonna go and help Venetians uh, to win the naval battle with the Ottomans. Thank you so much. Why don't I go and take a month to fix it? Oh, I'm a great power. Nice. And I'm gonna go and blockade them here. Why taking the mission? Yes, more manpower and more prestige. Worst part that the Ottomans are being held by this unfortunate war. They have 10,000 troops that's gonna help. And let's see how the battle goes. I'm like super outnumbering them. Okay, and I even killed more of the troops. That's good, but I really need to take this fort to go farther. Why don't I leave the mercs on the fort? They're gonna reinforce themselves. Why with the rest of the troops, I'm gonna try going farther and doing some damage to them. Ottomans actually have a coalition of one nation, so yeah, I could also join this coalition, but it's too late now. Why don't I go and attack them with Skopje? That's a perfect opportunity for us to actually have a big battle with the Ottomans with a chance of winning it. Especially that theoretically Venetians should be helping, but that's okay. We only have 0.6 less morale and 13. 13 less discipline. I have to take this advice to stand and a chance of winning that. I think the only thing that might let me win this battle is the amount of the calf that I'm having. So that's why I killed far more troops than did, they did. Okay, now thanks to it, they have far less troops than us. <laughs> well, like far less troops than us. So me and allies uh, should win this in theory. But how it goes, we'll see how useful it's gonna be Venice and Naples, because for example, Naples is doing absolutely nothing. Maybe they just need access from Pope. So, Mr. Pope, let's maybe try and getting, get some access to this boys. Do you need more access? I can give you more access. Let's get an access through Urbino. Let's get an access through Ferrara. Let's get an access through Padua. Yes, it worked. I just had to pay. I just had to go save over my relations limit. Anyway, I can just peace out Bulgaria in the meantime. I'm gonna give back core of Byzantium, Burgas, and I'm gonna take all three of my claims to myself. How much of this expansion is? Absolutely nothing. Take some money on top of that. Or maybe a little bit of less money, but take the war reparations instead. Thank you so much. There's some new government reforms. I can choose the production efficiency, provincial trade power, or construction cost. Plus some additional modifiers that does not change that much. Uh, honestly, we just go for the construction cost. Now they have two stacks over here. One is gonna be in Visak in 24th, another in 27th of July. I can get there on 27th, so ideally I should be able to just catch yes and kill this 5000 before the reinforce, and that's what's happening because I rolled 8 on the shock phase. They rolled 0, and that's an easy stack wipe. Thank you so much. Let's go and kill this 6,000 now. How many more troops do they have? 14,000. Yeah, they have this 8,000 here and this 6,000 here. So once I kill this 6,000, they'll only be having some armies in Venice that I should also be able to stack wipe. Let me just also try doing so because I, I might be able to stack wipe whole army of the Ottomans. 
They were so overpowered, not anymore. You know, this is just the power of Kaf, like, really. Kaf is just completely destroying him, even though he has far better army stats. I win these battles easily. Tick, 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 tick. Oh, Mr. Ottoman, where are you running away? Ah, you're running away to Fury. Oh, that's so bad. 7,000 troops because he just started building more. They have far stronger fleet than us, but I'm losing the moment that uh, not here to try to cross to Gajarali with my whole army. And this is because they already have further 17,000 troops. Anyway, I can take the fourth admin tech, which is more admin efficiency, death efficiency, and first idea group, which is gonna be, I have no idea what, probably something military. That's a really hard choice, honestly, and I really think about the aristocratic ideas to embrace the whole calf beam, and that's another calf cost and calf combat ability for us. Okay, with this fourth taken, I can go and send the peace into the Ottomans. I want all of this course of Byzantium. Cannot take Constantinople because that's like 76% of the war score, right? So just take this, full money, Thank you so much, and now I can just go and take care of Aydin. Now my favorite part of a rebel siege now in province is that once you kill them, right now they have 42% of the siege progress. Once you kill them, you take over the siege progress. So once I get here, I kill them very easily. I right away have 49% of the siege, which is gonna end in one or two phases. Ruler died by himself. Actually, two years before I was able to abdicate him and that's another one stability for us. Thank you so much. And obviously the ruler is now six, four, five. Three, two, three are not too good, but I don't care at this point. Let's see, an extension of Byzantium. I bet it's gonna take a lot of time. 1.3 thousand Diplo points. 36 years. Okay, let's start the annexation. But what I could do is to concentrate. Because this is 6 development. This is another 8 development. This is another 4 development that I can decrease. But I'm gonna do that at the very end. Because if I did it right now, that would make them completely disloyal. Anyway, I'm gonna go and attack Hungary right now. First of all, to go and conquer some of their provinces, but most importantly, to shorten my truce with the Ottomans. That's gonna be for the reconquest of Ramma. And let's go. All I want to do with the Ottomans is to just wipe them. So this way I'm gonna shorten my truce from, I don't know, just like 13 years to only five years. And most importantly, Constantinople wasn't paid. So I'm gonna take this fort down in just one month time. And if just Constantinople taken, I have 45% worse cost. So why don't I use that to break some of the alliances? Like for example, Crimea. And I'm gonna keep Hungary because I'm gonna break the alliance with Hungary in the war against Hungary. So let's just do this. Ah, to make the annexation a little bit faster, I'm gonna take the nobility privilege. I left one space for it, which is diplomatic annexation goes on the cost of liberty desire in subjects. But I don't have issues with the liberty desire as of now. So right now they're gonna be finishing 1411. Okay, Mr. Hungary, time to show you the power of Carvely. Hello there, Mr. 10,000. I'm only using 4,000 of CAF in this stack because the rest of the CAF is busy doing something else, but look, they're just completely evaporating from the map. Seven and a half thousand troops that we've killed, let's go and get more. Also, my icon just ended. I have no manpower and my Americs have no manpower and I'm hitting the admin points cap. So many things at the same time, let me take the same icon. So improve relations, I guess expansion impact, 63% war score is max I can get. Let me go for the peace deal like this, 69% of the war score. And let's maybe not break with Genoa, instead of that let's take a little bit more of the provinces. And this way, we are good to go. Send this peace deal, thank you so much. Serbia keeps growing and I think I'm gonna start annexing Bosnia as well. What the hell is happening to Constantinople? Why it is having 46 development in 1381? <laughs> it was developed 14 times according to this game. I'm gonna take the admin deck a little bit of the ahead of time, but this is because I have so many admin points, I'm generating so many admin points, and I have really nothing else to spend it on. Let me take this, and instead of 1412, annexation of Byzantium is gonna end in 1411, because we just got 5 admin efficiency, and another 2 admin efficiency is coming from the next military technology. Truth if the Ottomans just ended, let me just go and attack them, that's gonna be reconquest of Constantinople. My second bonus in Age of Feudalism is gonna be Vassar, Force Limit, Contribution and Liberty Desire in Subject Lands. Okay, so I want Constantinople, Honorable, Silistra for myself, Mentesha for myself, and as much money as I'm gonna accept thank you so much 
This is far better now annexation of Byzantium is gonna take even more, but remember I'm still stacking admin efficiency modifiers and also at the very end I'll be able to concentrate development. So for example over here I can decrease development by 14. With tech 5 I just unlocked uh, early siege weapon aim. So I can choose, it's gonna be the trebuchet with artillery cost minus 30%, with artillery damage from macro minus 10% and artillery bonuses for minus 2. But at the same time, it's gonna be having artillery shock, okay? Or I can ch choose the siege towers, that is artillery cost minus 50%, artillery damage from macro minus 80% and artillery shock plus 0.2. Or I can choose the bombard, which is ab siege ability 10%, movement speed decreased, artillery damage from macro increased artillery versus fort minus one and artillery fire i'll go for the siege towers which is just the cheapest and i don't really care about like how much damage is gonna do i care about the siege effectiveness and in fact all the bonuses that just stacked annexing bosnia is just a matter of five years that's one of the situations where i'm actually happy that i have an event air force seal because i have tragic air three two three and it's gonna be 50-50% chance or no, I want 75% chance of him dying and look at him surviving that. Okay, he died and sweet. Uh, and what am I supposed to do with this piece of crap? I have to kill him, but I'm gonna kill him after I piece out Valakia, which I'm gonna attack in a second. Because the more prestige I have, the less AE I'm gonna get for piecing them out. As I don't have manpower, I recruited a few generals Five siege. That is nice. I'm gonna then slack and recruitment and wait a few months to recover these troops while at the same time I'm gonna go and get the free company on top of that. Or how's our money? How about instead of free company we get the grand company? I have enough money to maintain it. About AE. Let me just go and take this policy again that is decreasing the gas expansion impact because that's gonna be a lot of AE I'm gonna take. 30 from separate piece in Bulgaria and then I'm also gonna fully annex Valakia but first we need to separate piece Kiev. And as these two provinces are part of my state that's a lot of mana to core them but I don't have problem with having mana. And same case with Valakia. Part of my state 420 mana to core these provinces but I don't care it is gonna right away be my full state. Thank you so much. Let me just delete one of these two forts. And I actually do not look at the expansion, but it's not a problem. Just look at our borders, especially on the player's map mode. Let's by the way see how the world is just looking. Uh, France, France, France. Okay, they still have a few vassals, but not so many. There's a huge Navarra with this lands. Teutonic Order going crazy and taking Novgorod for themselves. And White Horde still holding majority of these lands, but at least Moscow is trying to fight them all for the independence. So that might be a good war for us to take advantage of and just attack Crimea to take over the slants. That is why I started building spy network on these few nations. Okay, let's see whose calf is superior. Ours or actual horse? And I believe that should be definitely ours. Thank you so much. Let's get another wipe on these boys in Rilsk. There goes annexation of Bosnia, making our borders far more beautiful. And we received 4,000 troops for free. Uh, as free manpower, I'm gonna keep them. Anyway, after killing 88,000 of the troops, I can right now go and take whatever I want, which is all of these provinces as well as five ducats. Thank you so much. Just take a look at the name placement. And can I concentrate actually these lands? No, let me just go and start coring them. Ah, uh, yeah. Thanks to these wars, we became the great power number one even above Ming. Next aristocratic idea is 33% maximum power as well as national unless modifiers. So right now we're having 31,000 maximum power. And about prestige, let me just go and purge this air. That's a way better air. Anyway, I will not probably use him because I'm ending the game in around 10 years. Another war, another 65,000 troops killed. This is just showing how much of a Killer machine, this cavalry is on this mod. Okay, they're gonna accept one island. Let's go and take less boss and as much money as they can have. Then, from Mr. Hunger, I want all of these lands plus maybe something extra without getting a collision. So, why don't we go with something like this? Thank you so much and full money. Look at the Serbian borders. Right now, we just have to finish our annexation of Byzantium and take a couple of more provinces from Ottomans. Anyway, let's see, it's 1415. 
Then if I take this meal tech, it's 5 admin efficiency, so this is gonna be 14, 13, and other 5 admin efficiency is coming from this. Actually, if I just save my titles, I'm gonna get the third achievement here, so next month I'll be able to embrace the golden era. Thank you so much, let's just go for it. Then I can just go and freely seize land to get a 25 and repay two of my loans. This... Oh! Selling titles in this mod is not giving money? What the hell? You don't get even a single ducat from it. Anyway, admin deck. Another 5 admin deficiency, so this is 1409 already. Ah, look, the first tier guarantee form is giving me diplomatic reputation, so annexation is gonna be even faster. Okay, Mr. Ottoman, you're my final peace deal today. Just take a look at that. These borders would be absolutely beautiful. No, not the last piece till they still have it to be taken down. Once they take down Hamid and annex Byzantium, it's gonna be beautiful. Yes, a good summer of the campaign, the comet side at the very end of it. And of course, Venice is asking me to join some useless war. I'm gonna join it. But also, I'm not gonna do shit in it because I'm ending this campaign right now. With 88% of annexation cost, I think our trick should work. So I'm just gonna go and concentrate concentrate and finally the biggest one concentrate that's a hundred five percent so it could even do that a couple of months earlier doesn't matter time to annex Byzantine and fix even more our name placements could be better honestly but still these borders are absolutely beautiful and we have 700 great power score by only 1400 so just the beginning of the campaign by the way look at this teutonic order in the meantime anyway if you do enjoy this kind of the videos so playing in the mods and have some fun this mods let me know by liking this video and saying comments what other mods and campaigns i should try and for today thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe to this channel to get notified about the future videos and i'm gonna see you very soon